place, Will Clay, and third place, George Kitchens. Gentlemen, if you'll take us through your performance and your thoughts on making the Olympic team. We'll start with you, Marky. Um, first of all, giving all honors to God because without Him there will be a, no we. Uh, you know, I just thank for the opportunity that He gave for the four of us. Um, you know, it was a great competition out there, pretty stiff the whole time. We didn't do very well in prelims, but you know, we came out here with a different mindset, ready to compete. And uh, you know, that's what happened today. And it, it definitely showed. Everybody was focused, more focused today. And you know, that's when the bigger jumps came. And uh, you know. I started off pretty good and I ended even better, so you know, it was a good day for me. Uh, as Keith said, you know, we just thank God for being here. You know, not, not a lot of people have this talent. Um, but I think a big push for us was just seeing uh, Ashton Eaton jump. You know, we saw him out here. He's a decathlete. He's like, hey, he come out here and jump 27 feet. We should be able to. So, uh, you know, that pushed us. And, you know, we were all out there pushing each other. So it was just an awesome competition, you know, uh, we don't get too many competitions like this. So it was just, you know, it was real, real good for all of us to push each other. And it was, it's just been a blessing, you know, this whole season has been a blessing for the three of us. And uh, couldn't ask for us, you know, a better situation. Now we just got to keep it going into the Olympics and hopefully we can go one, two, three at the Olympics. Well, to follow up on what they were saying, I do want to give an honor to God because without him, I, I wouldn't be here. If anything, you know, I, I was uh, I wasn't expected to make this team, but I did. So definitely got to give an honor to God for that. Um, I was definitely motivated today when I came out. Um, everything inside of me, my focus, everything mentally was on making this team, and uh, I wasn't going to be denied today. And I knew they were going to jump well. And you know, when when I guess uh, a will jump 27 feet, I knew that it was on. I was expecting to win today, but. 2611. I settled that. Thank you. We'll open up the questions. George, you, you mentioned you kind of had the dual dual role of trying to finish the top three and also trying to make the standard. I think we've been left with the person finishing 18th and qualifying. How mm -hmm. mindful of you were you of of the uh, of all the numbers and ramifications of what you had to do? Well, earlier um, in prelims, they had the wind gauge set up, so you, you kind of saw what the wind readings were. And uh, I had my hands out a lot during that time, just kind of feeling what a 1.0 wind felt like, and feeling what a 2.0 wind felt like. So when they took it away, I kind of had that feeling, that sensation. So that's why you saw me pick up grass a couple of times and just kind of um, drop it out of my hand to see how fast the wind was going. But I knew the talent was there. Um, I, I knew that uh, I was going to continue to jump well but I just had to catch the wind, and I did, so. George, you uh, seem to be visibly overcome with emotion when you, you made the team several times. You just kept relapsing over that. What was going on inside of you? It, it was just a lot. Um, I, I've been doing this for a while. I've been out of college since about 2006, and, um, you know, I was uh, the bronze medalist in 2009, but uh, I, I didn't make the team because I had some standard issues. I didn't have the A standard, so uh, Miguel Pate, who was fourth, went. Um, in front of me. So this is my, my only time really being in, in Oregon and being in this type of championship competition since then. And uh, I'm, I'm just happy that I came through to prove myself again that I really was a contender in 2009, but it was you know a win situation that I had to learn from and I did today, so. Mark, you can you share an emotional moment with your mom. Um, and you won the national championship at NCAAs and now you're here winning this, can you describe what it's like to be able to share that with her? Man, words can't even explain, you know, you know, overcome with joy I am to be able to have my mom present in the stands, you know, there's nothing like it. Uh, you know, when she's out there, I can hear her over everybody, no matter where we are. And, uh, you know, I know she loves me more than anybody. <laughs> Him too. I know she loves me more than anybody on this earth. Uh, you know, she carried me for seven months. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad to have her here. I'm glad to have her on my team. And uh, I know she's glad to be on my team. So, you know, I just give all, all the thanks to her. For uh, Will Marquise, uh, the... The youth movement in the jumps is really something. Where does that come from? How do you guys explain the number of young kids who are, are all of a sudden doing one? 
uh, we've been jumping against each other for a, a long while now. Uh, I can remember since what, maybe 07. Uh, you know, we've been competing on a national level versus each other, and we've been pushing each other. We've actually become like brothers now, and uh, you know, while jumping against each other, we formed a great relationship, and I think we use that as fuel to fuel to the fire. You know, when we when we're out there encouraging each other. You know, usually guys want other guys to mess up so they can win. But you know, we're out there applauding each other when we do good and you know, we're like, hey, you gotta go beat that. You gotta go beat that. You know, and uh, we've always been like that. So, uh, you know, I give all credit to, you know, Will. You know, he's always been there. He's like one of my best friends, my brother. And uh, we've been, as I've said, we've been competing for a while and, uh, you know, it's paid off. Now, every, what he said. <laughs> Everything he said, you know, uh, we've been competing. We're on, this is going to be our third team together. And um, first team we're on together, you know, we're really connected. And like he said, he became like my brother. And, you know, uh, I call his mom, mom. He called my mom, mom. You know, it's it's just awesome, you know, to come out, go out there and compete. And uh, I know he's going to push me, and I know I'm going to push him. And uh, it's just going to it's never ending. You know, uh, it's just going to keep going. And uh, I'm grateful for that.